Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Rodia Ramblan. This is me RJ Yoganand. In this video, I will be telling you how I did a 5 days Sri Lanka trip in just 30,000. But before that, let's quickly explore Colombo and then come back to the budget part. In the previous video, we did places like Gal, Kogala and Merisa. And now, we are on the way to Matra and from there, we will take a deluxe bus to reach Colombo. It takes approximately 4 hours from Matra to Colombo. We hired a tuk-tuk and went on a day trip in Colombo. So now we are at this uh, place called as Port City, Colombo, which is uh, getting constructed. Yeah, I think 50 to 60 percent is already done, but uh, here, you know, these people can be a bit considerate because uh, they don't allow people to walk inside this city uh, and they don't allow people to take a tuk-tuk or auto or uh, you cannot go by bike as well. You'll have to only go by car and that is ridiculous, right? I think, you know, you should skip this port city, uh, Colombo, which is, uh, I don't think so, it is worth visiting. We didn't want to go up the tower as many told us it was overrated and also very expensive. And after I went there, I also realized it. We finished the trip and watched a Rajini film in one of the biggest malls in Sri Lanka. Now let's see how I did this 5 day Sri Lanka trip in 30,000. Let's get to the budget part. Flights. I booked my flights well in advance. In fact, I booked my tickets 3 months in advance. I found that ticket from Chennai was much lesser compared to Bangalore to Colombo. My ticket from Chennai to Colombo was 6,000 and the ticket from Bangalore to Colombo was 12,000. So there is a gap of 6,000. Transportation I never hired cabs during my trip to Sri Lanka. Apps such as PickMe will actually help you get tuk-tuks and cabs at a nominal price. This is just like a Ola and Uber. Hiring cabs from Bandar Naige airport can be notoriously expensive. And also to get to the city from another, I use local buses, which is more fun than the normal cabs. And I also hired bikes to explore the countryside. Food Food is not that expensive in Sri Lanka. Of course, if you want to try some exotic seafood, it will cost you a bomb. But if you want to try the local cuisine, then it's going to be much cheaper. I had tried both local and some exotic seafood and it worked cheap for me. Accommodation Out of 5 days, 4 days we stayed in homestays and 1 day we stayed in a hostel. And all the two places that we stayed were comfortable, beautiful and also worked cheap. I made sure that the beach was very close to the place I stayed. Activities and sightseeing Whale watching costed 11,000 per person, turtle hatchery was 1,500, fish therapy was 1,000 and kuggala boating was 2,500, snake farm was 2,000 and these are the activities that we did in Sri Lanka. Now it depends on you what sort of activities you wanted to experience and based on the package the cost will differ. And here is the breakup of the budget.
but let me tell you sri lanka is one of the most underrated country and trust me explore it and you will not regret so finally the trip is done boarding for bangalore is going to start now in few minutes i hope you all enjoyed this vlog and it was also informative if it was informative then please do like it and share it with your friends and family who are planning for a sri lanka trip i'll meet you all in the next video until then this is rj yoganand signing off tada bye bye and take care